Oh, that's not John. Hey, but thanks for coming up. Hey, good morning. You having a good Monday morning? Yeah, it's not too bad. Let me ask you, do you think, so I was raised in the Church of Christ. Do you think that you have to go to the Church of Christ to be saved? What do you, what do you mean by you were raised in the Church of Christ? I was raised in the Church of Christ. I went to Church of Christ as a kid. I was baptized in the Church of Christ. And we were taught that if we didn't go to their church, then we did not receive salvation. So when did you leave there? I'm sorry? When did you leave and stop assembling with the Church of Christ? Uh, when I was in my mid-20s. Okay. Found God. You were probably truly found God and His grace and um, <clears throat> realized that the Church of Christ was basically a type of cult that was um, preaching that if you didn't do what they said and they would twist the Word of God in a way to where it made it seem like they were the only church, that there was no other church. I mean, it actually speaks of a church of God. Uh, in Luke, it speaks of other people out casting out demons and doing things, and they come to the disciples and say, you know, who are these people? And, and Jesus tells them not to worry about them, you know, that he's still doing their work. And that just goes to show that there was other denominations, other groups, you know, that <clears throat> we can all love yeah. Jesus and be under Jesus. And um, we all love the same person, the same God. It doesn't mean just because we don't go to a building that says Church of Christ on it yeah. that we're going to go to hell, you know. Can I talk a little bit? All right. So so I, I feel like you, you don't actually understand. You didn't. I'm sorry. I lost you there for a minute. Oh, I, was, I had, had to let the other guy go, but he can come back here in a minute because I can't talk to two people at once. You came up first. So I feel like yeah. actually you had a lot of misunderstanding and either you didn't have a preacher that actually taught you some things or you didn't listen or you wasn't reading your Bible because the because one thing you misunderstand is you say the building. If you don't put a sign on the building and the building. Well, they said, well, that they were they the thing was with all the Church of Christ that I've ever been to is that your name has to be of Christ because that is his bride. And wouldn't you want to have the name of Christ um, on there because that's his bride? Just like wouldn't you want your wife to have your last name? Yeah. You know, that's the way that all the Church of Christ is that I went to taught. And I went to several different ones. And that's what they all taught. And they said, if it does not have that name, then you're not in Jesus's correct church. And for me, that's not correct. The church is the people. We are his bride. Well, here's, you know, we are the church, not a building that says Church of Christ on it, which I love the name. I think the name should be on the building. But it, bit, you know, you've been talking the whole time and I really didn't get to answer it, but. Mm -hmm, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. So with that is how I do my YouTube channel is kind of like how I TikTok. I don't really want to go off of what they said. You don't have them recorded. You don't. You know what I mean? Let's go to the Bible because we can we can argue back and forth on what you were taught when you were little and what you heard, and there's no proof to it. You don't have the recordings. So well, I'm really, asking you what you believe. Do you believe that, what I said? Yeah. So I believe, yeah, you have to be a member of the Church of Christ, which is the Church of the Bible, because you got to abide in the doctrine of Christ, Second John 9. And so when you mm -hmm. said earlier that they're a cult, so you actually believe the church that Jesus established that taught repentance, baptism, and confession for salvation is a cult? No, I believe that the Church of Christ of today is not the Church of Christ of Jesus. Wow. Did you know that the Church of Christ didn't even get established until the 1800s? Really? What about if I, I can show you proof before the 1800s? Will that affect your change? or and, you and, and was that not a Mormon that was a spinoff from the Mormon church? No, you can go to my YouTube channel. You can actually see where I debated someone, and I show the Churches of Christ before Alexander, Alexander Campbell. Also, the Churches of Christ, Romans sixteen sixteen, is in the Bible. So why isn't that sufficient? I agree with you, but isn't there also a Church of God? The Church of Christ is the Church of God. I'm a member of the Church of God. Okay, but let me ask you this then. If you believe that if the name Church of Christ is not on that building, then it is not the correct church. 
I believe in our society that's a good way to find the correct church, but I don't mm -hmm. if they don't put the name on the building, they're going to hell. Okay, let me ask you this. If they have musical instruments in the church and it is a church of Christ, then they are are they stepping outside the will of God? Okay. Well, it depends on how do you believe we get authority? So is authority from the New Testament, would you say we should follow the New Testament? Absolutely. Okay, in the New Testament, where did the church use instruments? They didn't, but they also didn't speak against it. Okay, did they speak against smoking meth? No, but there's a lot of things they don't speak against or speak for, but that doesn't mean that it's wrong or it's bad. We're supposed to still keep the commandments. It doesn't mean we're bound by them anymore because Jesus fulfilled the law. So are but we in Psalms, does it not talk about uh, praising the Lord with strings and cymbals and and, you know, What's wrong with that? Is it okay to smoke meth then? That's not what I said. You're twisting what I'm saying. No, you're saying since they didn't speak against it, that gives us authority to do it. Well, you, But I could say the same thing to you about what you're saying. About what? the instruments. Well, they didn't speak uh, against it in the New Testament or for it, so we shouldn't do it. No, yeah, I, but I, also, I, you know, don't speak on different ways people praise God, but that doesn't mean we don't do it. No, what I'm saying is authority comes by what God says. Did God say to sing in the New Testament? Your voice went down. Hello? I ask you, did God say to sing in the New Testament? Um, well, I don't know. I'd have to find and see. I'm sure he said somewhere to sing and praise the Lord. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. So if he said to sing... Is that not good enough for you? You want to go and add instruments, but that's not even the, really the whole point because you don't even believe baptism is required, and that's a lot easier to prove. Hey, did I say that I did I say that I didn't believe baptism baptism is required? You just put those words in my mouth. I never said that. So did you not say that we're saved by faith alone or no, something? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I never so, said that. So where do you who do you assemble with now? Uh, I assemble with a group of folks independently, and we just worship and love the Lord and read our Bible and do what it says. Yeah, and does the preacher preach that baptism is required? Uh, we believe that baptism is very important, but just Not like required. other folks in the Bible, it wasn't absolutely required. Uh, okay. Just like the thief on the cross, just like Cornelius and his family that received okay. the Holy Spirit. Um, well, you you know, even Paul, he said, I came... Yeah, well, there's not a point because you're preaching also that you have to have a name on the building, that that's a good way, that not you have to receive water either. baptism, you that's can't have musical well. instruments in, in, in the church. You have yeah. all these rules, all these rules to be saved, and that's just not true. There's not all yeah. these rules. Can you I just talk believe a little in bit? the Lord Jesus Christ, okay. Ephesians 1, 13, 14. All right, so he just wants to take over. He don't want to have a conversation. I didn't say nothing about the building. He lied. He openly did admit that you don't have to be baptized, and that's pretty much what I said, and I was right. He proved me right again. He doesn't understand that you got to worship in spirit and in truth. He wants to add instruments. So he's showing right now that he's just dishonest and confused, and he never was properly taught right, and he veered off and forgot the doctrine of Christ. So you can unmute yourself. No, you're adding to the gospel. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Go ahead. Yeah. So what I'd like to do with you is I would like to have you come on my YouTube channel and we can set up and that way you can talk for five or 10 minutes and I can talk for five to minutes and I can clearly show everybody that wants to listen how you don't know the Bible because I'm going to bring the Bible up on the green screen and I'm going to show book, chapter, and verse and you're just going to preach off your feelings. Would you Would you want to do that on my YouTube no. channel? I'm not going to preach off my feelings. I'm going to preach off the Bible. Okay, You're so, going to twist the word and add to the Bible like you just did with the musical instruments. You're adding you to do the Bible. Do you want to do that or no, not? No, I don't have time to do that. But okay, here's well, the deal. I don't have time to talk to you. Here's the deal. I don't have time to talk to you. If you don't want to, if you don't want to discuss where people can see the Bible, I don't have time for you. You've got a bad attitude. And I wish you would repent. So and so simple doesn't even know that baptism is required to be saved. That's sad.
<coughs> John, I had someone else up earlier, and I couldn't talk to two people at once. That's okay, bud. How are you this morning? Pretty good. You doing all right? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm making it. Um, I, I just want to know what what you're trying to to uh, accomplish by this conversation. Uh, what conversation? I want to have it early, John. I'm sorry, you you dropped out too just then. I didn't hear what you said. I said you talking about like the conversation I had with the other gentleman, or just just in general, or what? Just in general, like what what's your goal for this? Okay, my goal is to preach the gospel and to do that you have to draw interest so here's the interesting part is no one is saved outside of christ or outside of his church and so to get someone to become saved to become a christian you have to first prove to them that they're not saved because everybody thinks they're saved. Everybody on TikTok thinks that they're going to heaven and they haven't even obeyed what God has said to do. So my first go is to kind of shake them up a little bit. And that way they start getting in the Bible. See, like, uh, do you know what Acts 2.38 says in the Bible? No, go ahead. Okay, so that's my point. See, my point is you don't know. So now I challenge you uh, to study your Bible because a lot of people just go around and they don't know the Bible. It's very obvious. And the preachers who somewhat, even if they disagree, um, they, I try to get them to debate me on my YouTube channel. That way the viewers can see both sides. They can see what I'm presenting from the Bible and what they're presenting from the Bible. And the honest people can clearly see what the Bible teaches. So that's my whole point is to get people in the Bible by a little bit of confrontation, a bit, a little bit of argumentation. Correct. I, what, what denomination are you? I know, I know denomination is a, is a, is a bad word, but like, um, uh, y'all were talking about the church of Christ. And then you said you were a member of the church of God, which one? Okay. So the church is the called out people, meaning they've been called out from the sinful world by the gospel, that's Second Thessalonians two fourteen. So within the gospel, what you would see in the New Testament, the New Testament basically sums up the gospel. It, it's the good news of how sinners can get out of sin. Once you see certain individuals uh, preach to lost people, they tell them to do certain things to get out of sin. Once they get out of sin, like in Acts chapter two. Verse 47, it says that the Lord added to the church. There was only one church that in the New Testament. There was not all these denominations. So some of the descriptions is the church of Christ, the church of God, um, the church. See, in the first century, they didn't go around and say, well, I was a Presbyterian, I was a Catholic, and there's a Mormon. There was only one. So I'm saying I'm not part of any denomination. Because if you go back and you follow exactly what the New Testament taught, you only become a Christian. So that's that's what I that's what I believe about. I'm not part of any denomination. I'm anti-denomination. See, denomination stands for division. Right. Right. I, I agree. I agree with that. But um, I didn't lost all train of thought, man. <laughs> yeah. That's like someone in the chat right here. They put Romans 10, 9 and 10 and Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. Yeah. Now, in John 3, 16 and Acts 10. So my point is, is the Bible only made up of four section of verses or is the Bible, the New Testament, made up of, of uh, a lot more books and chapters and verses? My point is, people get on here and they say, well, John 3, 16. So do you know who Jesus is talking to in John 3? John 3? He's yeah, talking, to, he's talking uh, to everybody. He's talking to everybody. That's his message to the world. Well, he's actually speaking how the Bible hermeneutics works. He's speaking to one individual. He's actually talking to one individual, even though, yeah, the whole world, Jesus died for the whole world. God the Father sent his son for the whole world. 
but he's actually talking to one person there in John 3. So my point is a lot of people don't know context. They don't know basic hermeneutics. And you know the Bible has more than John 3.16, right? There is actually a verse before John 3.16. Right. There's a, yeah, there's a <laughs> verse after. My point is a lot of people are not, you know, Matthew 4.4, 4, Jesus says we must live by every word. So why is this one person putting Acts or Romans 10, 9 and 10? But see, Romans has Romans chapter 6 that talks about baptism. That's my point of all of this on TikTok. So I'm not I'm not going to be able to teach anybody who isn't convinced that they're not really saved in the first place because they think they're already saved. And I'm not going to convince anybody if they don't go to my YouTube channel where actually the Bible is shown. Because, see, I can't bring the Bible up right here. Here's my yeah. choice. I either say, you go get your Bible and we'll read it together, or you go to my YouTube channel where because I have a green screen on my YouTube channel and I can bring the Bible up and I do a live call in show. And like for, if you called my YouTube channel, it would be so much better because you could actually talk to me on the phone and you could see the scriptures. Like if you ask me, you know, what, what's my point of this? I could bring up, you know, scriptures to show what I'm trying to do. You know, I guess, yeah. I guess my question really should have been, are you trying to get people to God through this? Well, of course, yeah. Okay, that, that was my question. But I, this is just some advice I have to you. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not a biblical scholar. I mean, you sound like you, you're pretty wise in it, okay? And I'm not saying that. But it's hard to get people to listen to you when you use a harsh tongue and talk to them. Well, I match it with match. Have I been real harsh to you? No, no, you hadn't because we've had a civil conversation. I'm not argumentative at all. Yeah. Well, and I understand that. And I believe what you're saying. I honestly believe that. I honestly believe. I, I was baptized in water. I'm not as smart in the Bible as you, but I was baptized in water. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. I believe in the, in the resurrection of Christ. I believe He's coming again one day, and I think it's going to be soon because the Bible also says when Israel is surrounded by all sides, you need to look up. Yeah, we could talk about that on my YouTube channel. See, I would say that's showing clearly that... Um, that's the destruction of Jerusalem, which I believe that Jesus can return any minute, and every day we're getting closer. But that's taken from Matthew 24, and it's talking about when he says, you know, uh, when you see the desolation of abomination, run to the hills of Judea and stuff. And that's talking about 8070. But, um, but me and you's been calm, but the other guy, he didn't. See, I even invited him on my YouTube channel where we could have a, we could have a time period, like you could speak for five minutes and I speak for five minutes and you speak for five minutes. That way we're not interrupt. But see, he wasn't interested in that. When people show to me that they're not interested, I just let them go because it's pointless. I understand that. I understand yes. that. But, but what, what a day would it be if like, if like we could reach thousands and thousands of people I mean, I would, I would love to be able to tell my Lord and Savior when I, got, when I got up there and he judged me and then he showed me. He was like, well, this person came to God because you said this. This person came to God because you said this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Well, see, he tells us so in, in the New Testament in one sense when we on Judgment Day. See, I, technically, if, if you're a Christian... You're not going to be judged for sins that you do. You're already forgiven. So it's more of a proclamation on uh, this is the reason why you're you're receiving salvation. You right. already know it and things like that. But he said in Mark 16, 15, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And the next verse says, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And so I'm looking for people. It's really hard because you don't know me from get-go. The other guy doesn't know me from get-go. So the relationship is removed from social media evangelism, which is a big deal. But if you find seekers that only want to follow the New Testament, technically I could get on here and say, you guys are the dumbest people in the world. You have no sense, and this is what the Bible says. Technically, that person could say, I hate his attitude, but he is giving me the Bible verse. And even if that person is converted, they may say, 
I never want to hang out with Travis because he's horrible attitude, but he's showing what the Bible says. But now I wouldn't approach that way. I don't go about just, you know, trying to yeah. dog everybody. But I do match it with aggression, with aggression. Like with, with, if someone comes on and they just want to take over, like someone put in the chat, that only wanted to preach, you know, A lot. <clears throat> I don't know, and it muted me. So it kicked me out and muted me, but I'm back in. So you can, I don't know if uh, you said something. I didn't hear what you said. I just said I lost you. I couldn't hear what you said. Oh. Oh, well, I've got to get off here. Uh, got to get into work as well. But you can uh, you can always stay in contact with me if it's something that you're interested in. You can go I'm to my follow. Okay. Yeah, you can follow me on TikTok, but I don't I don't do a lot. I'm trying to get off more of TikTok because um, this is the way it's more like set up to argue. All you all people do is want to argue, and I can't use a Bible like I can't use a green screen. Yeah. And so I can't my whole purpose is to get people in the Bible. If you want if that is my goal. So like like if you don't know what Acts 238 says, you need when you get off the TikTok, you need to go read it because that is what Peter told lost people to do to be saved. But today people tell people that they're saved by faith alone and stuff. But I would rather you go to my YouTube channel. And follow me on there, and I, it's not monetized. I don't get no money. I don't ask for money. But how it's set up is a lot better. If you want to learn the Bible, it's set up better. Can I just say something right quick? Yeah, sure. You are not saved by faith alone. I agree with that. You are not saved. By, you are not once saved, always saved. I don't care what your preacher is telling you. That is not true. Okay, I agree with that. Well, John, we have a lot more in common than we think. <laughs> yeah um i gave you a follow man I, I'll, I'll check your youtube page out and stuff okay yeah check it out it's a lot better than this tiktok hey you have a good day it's monday you too bud bye bye all right so i'm gonna end it with that i'll put both conversations on my youtube channel that just lets you know the first individual he wasn't interested in any having any really discussion the second individual did I actually feel like I even talk too much. I'm not used to having uh, someone let me talk that much on TikTok. I appreciate him. Even on my own live, <laughs> that's kind of strange to say, on your own live, just didn't feel right for someone to let me talk that long and not cut me off. But anyways, appreciate John. I do appreciate the other guy, but I hope he, if he's still listening, that he can go and check out my YouTube channel and call in the live show. And what kind of other preacher is going to give you time to talk? You know, I'm going to say you, you get five minutes and you can tell uh, several hundred people all uh, why you hate the church of Christ and not misrepresent all of the things that you said earlier. And then I'm going to go in behind you and correct you with the Bible because he's not going to be able to present the Bible. I'm talking about the first guy. And he don't even want to take up on that offer. That's what I'm saying to some people on TikTok. They just want to argue. Well... I don't want to just argue. I wanted to get people in the Bible, and I want to study the Bible. And I actually learn from uh, individuals on these platforms as well. Hey, you guys have a good day, all right?